The month of October. You may be thinking about Halloween or maybe even Thanksgiving. But before we get too far ahead of the game, let's stop and enjoy New York's most colorful season. We're very blessed in the Northeast here because we're one of three major areas in the Northern Hemisphere uh, where you can actually find fall foliage. There's a small area in Northeast China and Japan. There is another area in the British Isles and Western Europe, but the largest region is the Northern Hemisphere, Northern New York, the New England areas, all the way down to, let's say, Georgia. This unique phenomena is not only pretty to look at, it fosters a multi-billion dollar tourism industry attracting many repeat visitors. And we're here to uh, see the family and see the foliage and the, the leaves and the trees and just um, get to see what New York, upstate New York is like. So this is really nice to see the dip, to come when the trees are, are changing. The leaves are changing. It's beautiful. Here's a surprise. Those beautiful oranges and yellows are hiding in leaves all the time, but they're visible only in the fall. It's because the leaf's food-making chlorophyll system shuts down just before the winter months arrive. As the days shorten, then some of this chlorophyll is not renewed, and it's losing more chlorophyll than it's reproducing. And that's when these yellows begin to show themselves in the fall. Vivid yellows and intense oranges pop up everywhere. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll spot the most radiant shades of red. Trees which naturally produce sugars that get trapped in the leaf in the fall can turn a bright crimson red. And so in addition to the hidden yellows and oranges which are inherent in the leaf all the time and appear in the fall, quite often you'll get brilliant crimson reds additionally to that to make a, a brilliant coloration. No matter which is your favorite color, you'll find it if you get outdoors to enjoy New York's fall foliage season.